up guys? Um, today I wanted to go over a little bit of uh, uh, what different things in your in your Fox body weighs, uh, you know, like different uh, things you can do <clears throat> to lighten your car up. Uh, you know, in order to make, to, to run good DTs, um, it takes either horsepower or l making your car lighter. So I wanted to kind of go over just some of the differences between like say a set of um you know a typical set of 10 hole wheels versus you know uh this set of skinnies here that um you know what the difference in the weight is as far as we know what you can expect now this is actually going to be probably lighter than a <clears throat> like a pony wheel because i think they're um they're not as wide as the ponies I'm not 100% sure that those, maybe someone can tell me, but I'm gonna go ahead and weigh them and just show you the difference. And then also the difference of <clears throat> with the, you know, my rear wheels, what, what those weigh compared to um, the, the, the 10 holes. Um, and you can see the difference in like, I mean, look at the difference in the, in the width, you know, with the, <clears throat> with this wheel versus this wheel and it's a lot it's, it's taller too i mean you can see it's it's a lot taller as well so uh let's go ahead and weigh those and, and let's see what we come up with okay so those weigh 44 44 and a half roughly so we'll uh <clears throat> we'll go ahead and weigh the other one and see what that weighs uh let, let me weigh the the rear wheel first to see how that compares uh so these are Weld RTS, um, RTS wheels, the five lug version. Um, and they're pretty popular. You can, you know, you can check on like Summit or Jegs or LMR or whatever to, for, for these wheels. They're, <clears throat> okay. Okay, so that wheel is 44.6. Okay, so we got, I think it was, I think it was 44.4. 44.4 on the the 10 hole and 44.6 on this wheel. Okay, so so those two wheels basically weigh the same, but I mean, look at the difference. You know, if I put them side by side, if I put these side by side, I mean, look at the difference. You know, look look at the size of this wheel compared to this, and they weigh identical, almost the same, almost identical. Okay. So let me go ahead and put the, the front wheel on, which is a, it's a four and a half inch wide wheel um, by 15 with a two and a quarter offset. So let's go ahead and weigh that one. Okay, so I gotta kinda hold this one to, in order to balance it, but okay, so that weighs 26.6 pounds. So, you know, compared to the, compared to the 44 of the other, of the, of the 10 hole and the rear wheel too, that's, uh, that's a lot lighter. So, and the, the benefit of, you know, having a light, lighter wheel is not just the weight, but also the rotational, uh, mass, you know, your anything that rotates, it's, you, it's more of a benefit to remove weight from things that rotate. Okay. That's the theory. So, um, and then we can do also, let's weigh this stock drive shaft. See what this weighs. So a drive shaft also is something that rotates too. Okay, so that drive shaft weighs 20 pounds, and that's all. That's missing the uh, the flange too. So that's off of a four cylinder. I don't know if the V8 um, drive shaft is going to be heavier. Maybe so. Um, what else? So. What I want to do, um, you know, the last time I was out, uh, we went a 740 with this. Oh, by the way, uh, I got this thing all blown apart because the track lock went bad. I think I mentioned that in the last video, but I need to. Yeah, the track lock went bad in this thing, so I got to rebuild the, you know, the. Yeah, I have to rebuild the the clutches in the uh, in the track lock so uh, I ordered the parts already but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like make a video on that because I've seen a bunch on YouTube about that and it's kind of boring you just 
you know, you pull the spider gears out and you replace, you know, you do the shims and all that. So uh, I'm just gonna do that without making a video. But um, anyway, so what I'm gonna try to do is, like I said, the last time I was out, it went uh, 740 in the eighth. And I'm gonna try to pull some weight out of this car to try to get it to, into the sixes. Um, I think it's I think it's possible. Um, it's not like undoable. I think that by eliminating you know a couple hundred pounds and then um, maybe upping the jet on the nitrous a little bit because uh, I'm not totally I haven't totally run out of jet yet on the nitrous. So uh, so one of the ways I'm going to do that is I'm going to remove. I've already removed the the uh, the passenger seat. I'm going to remove the rear seats. I'm going to remove this center console here. Um, let's see what else. Um, I'm going to make sure there's nothing in the trunk. Um, you know, I'm I'm going to probably. I may remove the bumper support just for you know to run that pass. I'm not going to. Um, I'm not going to keep it like that. You know, I'm going to probably put the bumper support back. Um, I wanted to take the bumper off anyway because I wanted to do some uh, work on the bracket that holds the intercooler. I'm not, I'm, I don't really like the way it's set up in there. It's kind of janky, so I, I want to fix that. But meanwhile, I was going to take the bumper support off to see if, you know, I, I know those weigh a lot. So, um, oh, and another thing we can weigh is the, the, the front seat. So if you've never, if you don't know what a Fox body front seat weighs, um, let me go ahead and weigh that. Okay, I just weighed, I just, because I can't put the seat on the, I can't put that seat on the um, scale by itself. So I went ahead and just weighed, I picked it up and weighed myself with it. And it was like 206 pounds. And I think I weigh like 165, I think. So, yeah, I weigh 169. So if you do the math, uh, two, two, oh, six, one, sixty-nine. Okay, so the seats weigh thirty-seven pounds. Now, these are these are like the LX seats. Without it, doesn't have um, you know it doesn't have the the lumbar air support. It doesn't have that. You know, I think these are lighter. I think the GT the GT seats are a little heavier than these. So. So that's 37 pounds there. Um, another thing we're gonna do to try to run this, you know, to try to run a good pass, or try to make a good pass, is I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna remove the exhaust. So basically, I have three-inch stainless steel from the downpipe all the way to the back with a three-inch vibrant muffler. muffler. Um, so I'm basically I'm basically just gonna come off. I'm gonna come off the downpipe. Um, kind of like this and it's I'm just gonna bring a pipe right over here and come out the side like this okay yeah and I'm also going to for this for you know to try to get this car in the sixes I'm also gonna remove the front sway bar so I'm not a hundred percent sure how much those weigh um, let me go ahead and take it off and weigh it so that everybody knows okay all right, so I think I, I think I got it. It looks like it weighs 13 pounds. Okay, that's just the sway bar and the end links. Okay, so we're taking, we took the, the seats were 27 pounds. Let me go ahead and write this down and then we'll, uh, we'll take a look at it. A uh, typical box body sway bar weighs 13 pounds. The front seat, front passenger seat weighs 37 and a half pounds. Um, my exhaust that I'm going to be taking off and running, you know, just a just a little short pipe coming out right here. Um, I've taken off 31 pounds of exhaust. Okay, um, the rear seats I haven't removed them yet. I'm going to do that, but I went online and, and researched what the rear seats weigh, and that's with the seat belts and everything. You you take off the seat belts and the the top and the bottom rear seat, and those weigh 47 pounds. Um, I removed the amp that the, the factory amp. It wasn't. It, it didn't sound very good anyway. So I just removed the amp and I ran the speakers off of the deck. It actually sounds a lot better. So pulled two pounds off of that. Um, I don't know if I'm going. I, I'm probably going to do it uh, t 
take the bumper off and remove the bumper support. I know those are another like 40 or 50 pounds. So, I mean, if you add it all up, you know, if you add it all up, so 100 and so far with, with what's on the list there, we're at 100 and 130 pounds. So another, say another 50 for the front bumper. Okay, so we're pulling 180 pounds off the car. Now, in, in full weight, the way it was, the way I was driving it around, um, I went and weighed it at a, uh, uh, I went and weighed it at a, uh, a dump. They have like a, a scale there where you can, you know, you can drive up on it and it tells you what your car weighs. Um, the car weighed like 29.50 with me in it. So now we're, I just pulled a hundred and, I just pulled 179, I pulled 180 pounds out. So, so we were at 29, I think it was 29.50 minus 180. So now we're with, with me in it, we're at 27.70. Okay. So I think that, you know, I know they say like a hundred pounds is worth uh, a tenth. So we're close to, you know, two tenths there. And I was already run, it already went a 740. Okay. And so, and I'm going to up the jet a little bit. Whoa, that went out of focus. I'm going to up the jet a little bit on the nitrous and we've pulled all that weight. Uh, Oh, it, oh, also, when I first started uh, driving this car around, I never had full exhaust. Uh, all I had was just this downpipe right here. Let's see. Yeah, all I ran was this downpipe coming out right there. That's all I ran for a, a few weeks until I got everything I needed to, to, to build the exhaust, you know, all the way back. And uh, it was a noticeable difference as far as the spool. Uh, it spooled much faster with uh, just the uh, just the downpipe and nothing, you know, no no exhaust. When I put that exhaust on, you know, with the vibrant muffler and you know the the whole entire setup, you know, with the tailpipe and everything, you know, all that, it it definitely did not spool as fast. It was it felt much more laggy, so that's going to help too. So, but we'll see. Uh, I just wanted to kind of go, you know, go, I mean, there's other things you can do too. Like if you really, if, if you want to be less street car and more race car, I mean, you can remove the rear bump, the rear bumper support. I know there's a company, uh, I think it's a uh, Donathan racing who makes uh, a tubular bumper support for the front and the rear. And that'll take a lot of weight off too. So, I mean, but if you want to get really like crazy with it, there's a lot of things you can do with, you know, pulling out the, all the AC, you know, all the HVAC stuff behind the dash, just rip it all out. Um, I did that on my other car and I got the car down to, gosh, like almost 2,500 pounds with, with me in it. So, I mean, it can be done and, and you can run really good numbers with, you know, 250, 260 horse uh, stock motor. I mean, you can run in the sixes easily with, you know, like say a 302 with a little nitrous and you, and you just gut it and take all the weight out you can, you can run some really good numbers. So, um, and like I, you know, like I was going over with the, with the wheels and tires and all that, I mean, you know, like even the, the brake calipers, these brake calipers, they, they weigh a lot less than the, the stock ones did. The, the stock ones were really heavy, bulky steel. These are, these are like forged aluminum. So, uh, you know, and then the coilovers also takes weight off because you don't have that big, huge factory spring. You got this smaller coil spring. Um, that, that's a lot of weight savings. And obviously the, the, you know, the K member is, makes it a lot lighter too. And manual rack steering. Um, gosh, there's just so much you can do. And some of it's expensive, some of it's free, you know? Like, you know, pulling out seats and just stuff like that, you know, free, you know, deal there. But yeah, I mean, on my other car, I was pulling off of stuff like, you know, the windshield wiper motor. That's a few pounds. Um, the actual windshield wipers, um, you know, just like unnecessary wiring. I, I rewired the car 
and, and made it so that I only had brakes, brake lights, headlights, and ignition, and just just minimal. I mean, all the wiring behind the dash was gone. So, yeah, but anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of go over that and, and show how much you can, you know, take out of the car and how much weight you can lose. And, and you will, you will, will run faster. Uh, you know, there's, there's different ways to go about it. You know, you can, you can build for more power and just leave your car, you know, the way it is with full weight, 35, 3,200, 3,300 pounds or whatever they are from the factory. Um, you're going to spend a lot of money on <clears throat> parts you know, to, to make the power, to make that run the numbers you want to run. So I think that would be a pretty good accomplishment with, uh, you know, a two and a half liter 1J and a stock, you know, A340 Toyota transmission. I mean, that's, that's not bad. I mean, you know, the, the motor and transmission and ECU and everything, uh, mass error sensor, everything cost me like 1300 bucks, you know, not including all the stuff that you know, I did extra like the wheels and the K member and all that. That's obviously you could do it. Um, you could do the swap without having to do all that stuff I did. It was just, I, you know, I had the car apart and I just decided to do it. So, but yeah, I, I'll be happy if, if I go sixes with the way it's set up right now. So anyway, um, you know, I hope you guys, uh, learned something on this video about, you know, reducing weight and all that. And, um, if you did, you know, like, share, subscribe, subscribe. See you guys next time.